hello everyone and welcome back to my video today i am filming my first grade curriculum choices for this year in the previous video i talked about what i'm using for my preschool students so if you have children that are ages three and four you can get great ideas in that video and i'll link it below for you all so for first grade i focus on the core reading writing and math and i really focus on a well-rounded curriculum that is not teacher intensive, that is open and go, and that is a curriculum that is really going to teach and it's not just busy work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get you closer and show you what we're using this year. So let's get started with the first grade curriculum books, starting with the core reading, writing, and math. Let's begin with math over here. So for math, we are using Saxton level one and this is an incremental approach to learning math. So it is a spiral approach. It introduces concepts slowly, but it provides a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. And uh, there are some manipulatives that we are will be using with the program. It has a combination of problem solving, money, just a lot of different concepts that the child is learning. There's also uh, working with subtraction and addition and it is a well-rounded curriculum that we have loved for math. So that is Saxon level one. We are also using easy addition. This is uh, addition techniques to master addition one through 20. And this is going to introduce um, number quantity at first, really ingraining the number quantity with fingers at first. And then it's going, he already started it. And then it's going to be having slowly introducing addition as they uh work through these different uh problems then they will move on to 10 frames this is another way of ingraining the number quantity which is the basis of addition so once they have done that they will begin to uh, add 10 frames then as they move on, they will continue working on different addition techniques, such as counting on problems. Um, they're going to work on doubles, doubles plus one, different techniques. Then towards the end of the book, they will be just working regular problems with however they can solve it, uh, working with um, the, the different techniques that they remember from the book. So this is called Easy Addition. Um, to master edition and Saxon one. Now let's move on to phonics. So he has moved on to elemental phonics level two. Elemental phonics is a program that introduces the 44 sounds of the English language in a systematic way. And so he will be working through this book. He already knows how to read because in the level one, they are already reading sentences at the end. And so it is a really great book to work through phonics then we're doing the explode the code book so explode the code is just another great book for phonics because it uh really ingrains the phonics and it's fun all of my children have loved uh explode the code and they look forward to doing it the next thing that we are doing for our literacy is uh, learning those sight words. So this is the 52 most common high frequency words for kindergarten. The reason I am using kindergarten and not first grade is because I delay the introduction of sight words. So they, uh, he is starting here with the kindergarten list and he did the preschool list last year. And so uh, the reason I do this is because it is important that the child has a good phonetic background before you introduce sight words. Sight words are really important to also memorize because it will help with fluency as these are the Dutch words, the most frequent words seen when reading. So when memorized, the child is fluent and fast with reading and not choppy. So for this list, they will be working 10 weeks of sight words. They're getting five words a week. First, they get the words and I will write them on flashcards. We'll go over the words. Then there's three activities a week in this book. There's a word match. There's a find and color for the same words. And then there's a trace and write. Every single activity is going to help the child memorize these words. Then the next week, they get a whole new set of words. We go over the first week's words with, that we'll have with our flashcards, then introduce the next five words. Again, they will do a word match. They will do a find and color, and then they will do a trace and write. And you go on and on until they have memorized 
all 52 words by week 10 they should be going over all of those 52 words with the flashcards um having memorized them along with that i am using these bob's books um last year we used level one and two this year we're using level three and four these are great books for the introdu introduction of reading and these books are very simple and straightforward uh they start off uh phonetic little readers and then they move on to more complex um words these are the word families and then these are the complex words little booklets so you can see very simple and they're short i focus on mastery of the book so i will not move on to another book um just because i will make sure that that child really learned how to read that book so we can stay on a book for two three days even a week if need to so that they will read fluently through these books so this is set three and set four and i will be linking all of the resources below in the description of the video so now let's move on to writing okay so for writing we will be working doing notebook work so in these two notebooks we have one for uh writing letters and one for writing numbers so in this first book we are doing letters word dictation so i will be dictating words to this child such as um cat hat bat just different words i will be using even some of the words that he has in his elemental phonics book for that lesson but he will be just writing words phonetically i am not looking for perf perfect spelling at this point but i am looking that the child is knowing how to write phonetic words and phonetic sentences and i will also focus on letters so i might give him like a letter a day that he will focus on in this notebook as well so i like focusing on notebooks at this time i also will work on the number so i'll give him a number to work on for that day and he will write a number from 1 through 20 for us um then i have this letters and number printing practice so i like having this because it's dry erase and he gets to practice the letters focusing on that printing and we can use it over and over again it has uppercase and lowercase and it has numbers one through 20. so i will pick a letter for the day and a number and he will work through it um and here are the numbers as well and he can also color in the squares for learning that number quantity and this is a letter and number printing practice um then i have this draw right now and this is something that i'm going to be using like once a week at most and i will have him copy this and then draw this picture here so by the end of the year we should have all of these here done and this is just a beautiful little keepsake that he will have in his notebook and that um he will love working through draw right now it's just one of those books that i've had all of my children do and this is the draw right now book one so that is what we have for writing so let's see what else we have here so we've covered reading writing and math um we also have this literacy binder i like making learning hands-on so this is an interactive literacy binder level one so let me show you what this would look like um so this is all velcro and so this is working on beginning ending and middle sounds um it's also working on reading words and matching them here it also has uh counting syllables it has some grammar in it well i will remove this and have him uh read these sentences and place the correct pronoun it has possessive nouns learning their possessive nouns this is sorting nouns and verbs so it's a little introduction to grammar but in a fun way for them this one is sorting singular and plural nouns again i will remove all of this and i will ask him is this singular or plural and i will explain the definition of both this is matching antonyms again i will take all of these out like this and then he would figure out what is the antonym what is the opposite of happy sad what is the opposite of in out so it is interactive it's fun and they love these so it's just a great introduction to literacy and to grammar in a fun and interactive way and i will link again all of these things below for you all all right so let's move on to the other things i like having my children learn a little bit of logic every year i think logic and critical thinking is a subject that should be taught in schools and in all grades so he loves his can you find me books this is building thinking skills for reading math science and social studies through little riddles so we will read the little riddle and he will have to find out who we are talking about 
what we are talking about. And it's just a really great little book that we'll read through and he will answer questions. All right. And then we have Brain Quest Smart Cards. And we love these little cards because it is just a special time that we can sit with the children. And especially for the younger years from third grade and below, we love using Brain Quest. And it has little questions in there that they would answer. So for example, what is the opposite of cold? Hot, right? And the answers are in the back. Name the picture. So what is that called? And what is the first letter of this picture? V for vest, right? And look over here. Which uniform has the number 20 on it? So it's just like simple things that they're asking the child. And this is for ages five to six. We also have the first grade ones that he can do if he's done with these. And it's just a fun way to just uh, work a little logic and critical thinking with the children. Let's work on STEAM. And I have a little boy and he is really into engineering and building and hands-on projects. So I have this STEAM kids book that has 50 plus um, experiments and he can do these with his older siblings as well. And we're, we can just pick one a week that we will work through and he will build them and learn a little bit about STEAM. So STEAM is uh, science, technology, engineering, art, math, hands-on projects for kids. And these are, I think, good projects to do uh, with your children. Or you could also find them online, but I'll link all these below. Here we have Snap Circuits Junior. And this is building over 100 exciting projects. Again, it is working those critical thinking skills, those following direction skills. It brings a little manual here and he will work to build these circuits. And they all have something that they do. And here is the little cir circuit parts that he will put together. And, and of course, he's going to be working that with an adult so that he knows how to work it and how to, how to do it, as, at least at this age that he's in. All right, so that is what we have for STEAM. Now let's move on to the other subjects that we teach. So we teach reading, writing, and math with the workbooks, but then we like to also teach about science and history and just a little bit of everything through read alouds. So he will be sitting through our read alouds with our older kids, but also him and his younger sister who is in preschool this year. I'll be reading a little bit from these books. This is the first nature encyclopedia. So if I know there's an animal that they're interested in, I will read about it. I will just read a little bit at a time. Just a little bit and bits of information to inform the child and help them learn a little bit of knowledge about the world around them. And this book has information on trees, birds, bugs, habitats, and plants. All right. I also have this first encyclopedia of science and my children have all loved this little encyclopedia. It has a little bit of everything and you don't have to read everything in here, but it's just a great colorful illustrations book that tells you a little bit of science in all aspects. Then I have this Health, Safety, and Manners. This is from Abeka. This is level one. And again, this is just a reader. So I will be reading it to him to teach him about health, safety, and manners. And him and his sister will be working on this together. If there's something that he needs to write, I will make copies. But this is just a little reader for them. Um, and the same thing goes for... Um, this is a history and geography reader. It's just a reader. It's called My America and My World, level one. And him and his sister will be reading, uh, sitting down while I read this to them. Just a little background about our country and the things that are meaningful, right? And then it has this social studies visuals that depending on the lesson that we were on, I will show them these visuals and further expand on these things. Um, and you buy this separately. It doesn't come with the actual curriculum. This is something that you would purchase separately. And again, I will link all these things below for you all. All right. And so that is what we have for our read alouds for them. Let's move on to other things over here. So all of my children are learning a second language. And the language that we are learning is Spanish because uh, that is our native language. Now I have this Spanish learning folder that I do with all of my younger children and it teaches them the basics of Spanish. So parts of the body, pets, 
clothing, just all those basic words, family names, days of the week. And I have little songs and little things, months of the year. And it goes on and on, stations of the year, verbs, like just common verbs. So everything has a theme. This is the farm. And it goes on and on. I really love this little book because it's simple. So this would be a lesson learning about um, the, the forest. And this would be another lesson learning about common foods. And I will stay on this lesson if I need to for a week until they have memorized all of these names. And I will link the Spanish learning folder below again. And I put it on this stand-up folder so it could be easier for them to go over things. All right, so let's move on to different manipulatives that we are using this year with him. We have this classroom magnetic letters kit, and I do tons of activities with magnetic letters. It has the vowels in red, and I work on spelling. I work on little words, word building with them since they're learning how to read, and it's just a very useful tool in those early years. I also have for him this year rhyming bingo. My kids love bingo. My preschooler has the alphabet bingo, but I also have this rhyming bingo for him. And I think it will be helpful when it comes to phonemic awareness and as he's developing his reading skills. Then I have this, this is pattern blocks, and we're going to use this with our Saxon math, but I also do other activities with pattern blocks that we love putting on our shelf. We also have Unifix blocks because you always need these. They are just great for learning patterns, for working math problems, especially in the young years when they need manipulatives. Unifix blocks are really good. I also use these for logic activities. There's so many activities you can do with Unifix blocks. And I'll be putting together a few so that you can see on our channel how I use all of these manipulatives. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. I also will be using the Abacus with him. This is a tool that we use in the early years when we are really learning the number quantity, when we're learning how to add, and we have not yet gained the skill of mental math. The Abacus and different Abacus activities will help children at this stage. And I will be making activities on how we work the Abacus. So don't miss it and subscribe to the channel. All right, so I think that that is all we have here. For our first grader, I think I went over it all. And that is what we have for our first grader this year. So I hope you have enjoyed our curriculum choices for this year. Any books that I've mentioned in the video, I'm going to link down below in the description box. If you want to see what I use for preschool and for kindergarten last year, I'll link those videos below also in the description box. Now, if you want to come learn along with me and you want to learn more about homeschooling, character development, maybe you want to know what I use with my older kids, grades four through eight, to foster independent work and to work on those middle school years, I have a private membership community where I work hand in hand with you and I have exclusive videos there to work with you there. So if you want to join us there to see work for the older grades, I will go ahead and link that below for you guys as well. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Coming soon here on the channel is our preschool and first grade area that we have for our littles. So I'm going to be doing a desk reveal for them. I'm so excited to show them their desks this year and how I have set it up. So don't miss that video coming up. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.